Hey everybody, Cowboy here. We have a quick clip from our uh, live session today about market events and how they can affect the charts, which in turn affects trading. Uh, right after the video, there is a little bit more information about what we do and how to find us, or just simply go to the bottom of this screen, zap that QR code, or go to the website, algofactory.tech. We hope to see you over there. Enjoy the clip. Tell you what, today is the triple witch, so um, today is the largest September options expiration in history. Um, so there's been a lot happening. Well, it's just the opposite of a lot happening, right? Um, look, we talked about this yesterday, but when you have um, a lot of different large traders, large trading entities, when you come to the end of a long period of options, say like quarterly options, they need price to stabilize in an area that's called in the money. Okay, so an option is a kind of trade where you are buying the right to buy or sell a stock in equity. And that's going to be, and I think there, there might be not just equities, I think there might be, um, I don't know, other instruments that options cover, but usually I'm thinking of equities. And so, you know, like a stock, um, so basically like, for example, um, let's just say Amazon was like, uh, you know, a thousand bucks and you think it's going to be 1200 bucks in like three months, then what you can do is buy a call option so that in three months when the price is 1200, if you're correct, you can buy that stock for a thousand dollars at a share. Right. And essentially you're spending a very small amount of money to control a very large amount of stocks. And if you're right, that's quite profitable because you can go turn around and sell um those stocks and make you know two three hundred bucks on each each share right um so that's gen i mean that's the kind of the bare definition of how options work but there's a lot going on with options long story short they tend to expire at the end of the quarter and if price you know most of your funds are going to trade in a similar fashion you have very large amounts of money in some of these funds and asset managers and you you can't really just go around buying and selling things at will it takes a long time to enter, you know, a few billion dollars into a particular uh, instrument, <coughs> excuse me, instrument without moving the market. So it's, you know, a lot of these, uh, I think a lot of these are, uh, and V, you'd know more about this than me, but I think a lot of these very large purchases, per, uh, purchases are done over the counter. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. So if you're buying like, you know, a few billion dollars of Amazon stock or something, I think a lot of these are not done by going on to freaking E-Trade. Like, no, you know, I don't know. <laughs> That's an OTC, yeah. Yeah, OTC man. So, you know, also that would all, that would be a privacy issue too. You know, you, the, the deal would be, uh, although uh, I think a lot of these deals have to be registered anyway, but there's a period of time where no one knows about them. So, you know, if you have like, look, these guys have big data. I mean, if you, if you see an account that's extremely large um, going in and they have a, a, a lot of money set aside and they're going to start purchasing this stock. You go, Hey, Vanguard is going to, is buying this equity right now. And you know, like everybody's going to freak out. It's going to crush the price up. So I imagine these deals are done over the counter so they can, um, purchase these equities without it hitting exchanges information and changing price. So, um, you know, that's the deal is made between two different parties. We're going to buy this many stocks at this price. And then it's done probably by, yeah, it's probably by contract trading stock certificates in, a, in an electronic manner. But uh, long story short, when the options expire at the end of a quarter price needs on, on these larger kind of funds, indexes, um, I imagine bonds or whatever, any instrument, it's all got to be in a certain area or everybody loses a lot of money. And everybody's not going to allow that to happen. When you have everybody that matters, people who move markets, when they're in the red, they're going to work together to not be in the red like just it's as simple as that yeah, we market, have the master the market makers, That's market what makers. this is why the markets will never be destroyed people who are out there talking about oh the, the markets are will the markets crash yes yes of course it'll crash will the markets be completely obliterated and destroyed no because the market makers will still need a market to trade folks you gotta understand it's their market. It's the elite's market. They're not going to destroy their market. See what I'm saying? The market will go through changes and transitions, but it'll never be destroyed. Well, and, and with equities, I think uh, I think like half the money in equities is coming from retail, but it goes through like 401ks and stuff. So absolutely, 
you know, you have a, you have a certain percentage, three to six percent of people's paycheck going into four hundred one ks, and that provides a lot of opportunity for the elites to use that as buying pressure. Um, you know, or if I, I imagine in certain scenarios when these uh, when these funds rebalance, um, it might be that they rebalance at a bit of a loss, and then that might provide buying opportunities for elites as well. I don't know how often that happens, but I am fairly confident very confident that um these funds do allow a lot of exit liquidity for uh, a lot of the elites towards the top and a lot of uh a lot of actually you know pushing uh, assets up already owned by some of these elites i mean i can if, if that <laughs> if you don't think that's true i got a bridge to sell you so that said um at the end of the quarter things have to be at a certain price or everybody loses money these people are market makers it's the it's their market um, if the boat leaves, they will bring the boat back. That's how it, that's how it goes. So they're going to go ahead and keep things where they need to be. And this September, um, it, you know, I've been trading since 2017 and really actively since, I mean, like in other markets besides crypto since 2019. And this, and I'd have to look at the data to be sure. But this September so far, this first two weeks has felt a really light on volume. So we are live every weekday, 8.30 a.m. EST, giving out free content. Come check us out on YouTube. Come talk to us. Go over to the website. That's www.algofactory.tech. Again, www.algofactory.tech. And for a limited time promotional offer, we are giving out memberships at $49.99 a month. There's a ton that we're offering over there. Come see what that's about. Also, you can see our Twitter link. All the links are up on YouTube. Come uh, talk to us on social media, see us on the live YouTube videos. We hope to see you soon.